Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be practicing on that model and this is the final result. Let me make this one larger so you can take a screenshot if you want to model this on your own. Actually, you can try to model this on your own on the first try, then you can come back to this video. This is a great way to practice. Anyway, now let's get into the tutorial. All right, let's start off with the capsule at this one in. I'm going to hit NNB to see the wireframes. As you can see, we have these triangles. But since I will be slicing off the top and the bottom, it's not going to be important. Let's make it editable. Then I'm going to enable symmetry hub on the Y axis. Then make a little selection and delete this. Perfect. Let's turn this off. Now I will add in a cylinder, change its orientation and make it smaller. So it is supposed to be somewhere around here, I guess. Then we need to get rid of excessive edges, like the height ones. Now it is quite important. We need to match these crossing edges. Obviously, we cannot have 16 because it's not going to be possible to match these edges. So I will bring that down to 8 or 6. So let's look at the 8. Yeah, we could do that, but we are going to need to add in diagonal edges, which is something that we don't want usually. So why don't we stick to 6? Now, I'm going to make it slightly larger than that. Like that. Then I will bring that down over here. Okay, we are good to go. I'm going to hold down control, drag that down. Then I'm going to connect these two. Then I will grab these points and delete them. By the way, let's turn this off. I'm going to double click on this, then grab stitch and sieve tool, hold down shift and connect these edges. I'm going to hit that edge in so that we could match these edges. Okay, now I'm going to hold down alt and put the capsule under a bool, then put the cylinder under that one. Nice, that's gonna be it. Let's enable create single object and make it editable. I don't need this for the moment, so I will throw up my selection and delete this out. So if you remember, we had 16 segments, which means that I could grab these four and clone these around easily. So let's go to the top view. I will grab rectangle selection and select these polygons. As long as we have this one right in the middle, it's gonna be always easy to clone these around. So I will invert selection and delete them. And the other thing is that health, since it is identical and since we have these edges right in the middle of the world, we could delete these easily. Then I will grab polygon pen tool and start to clean up my mesh. These are easy. Then I'm going to open control, get rid of these empty points. Then we could connect these. And here we go. Maybe we could move these points away because these are too close to each other. And that's it. Now, if I hold down Alt and hit a symmetry, I'm going to turn off X because we need to mirror this on the Y. So I will enable Z, enable Weld, and here we go. Now, I could hold down Alt and add another symmetry, but this time I will select the radial one and set this to 4. Perfect. Now, I want to work on this one. So I need to make the symmetry editable. It's C. We could delete that. And what I want to do is extrude these in. So extrude. Hold down shift. And something like that is going to be enough for us. Let's turn off these planes. Okay, select these polygons with selection, hold down control, extrude the amount. Let's try something different. I'm gonna Button these out by scaling them down. Then, yeah, we are looking fine. Same here. Now let's put this one under a subdivision surface. Okay, these points are not valid, even though the weld option is on. So I'm going to put a connect. Yes. Also, if you are getting these sharp edges, you should turn off use edge breaks and increase that up. If you are still getting Sharp edges, you should select the connect object and set its long mode to average. Now we want sharp edges. Our first option is obviously spotting edges, 
but I will be subdividing my mesh one time in order to get these details. Right now it's not going to be possible because we have a low poly mesh. So I'm going to select these edges and grab create subdivision surface tool and create these edges up. Okay. But two levels will be too much. So I will set this to one. And here we go. Let's make this editable. And I will put another subdivision surface. We no longer need that weight. Let's put this one under that. Now we could start to add sporting edges. We could, you know, grab that half or and clone them around, but it's gonna be really fast. So let's do it quickly. Then I could use this by sliding them in. It's going to make the edges sharper. Okay. And I think we could get rid of these, then flatten out these edges by coming over here, the coordinate manager, and zero out to Y size. Maybe scaling them up slightly. Hit Q. Okay, nice. And let's scale these in. Move them down. I want these edges to be a perfect circle, so I will use Fit Circle tool. Click and all right. Now hold my control. Then I will use close polygon hold tool. Enable grid. Let's enable patch so that I can rotate these around because we usually want these edges right in the middle. Okay, hit Q. Sporting edge, please, right here. Maybe here. All right, looking nice. Now I want to add that detail in. So it is supposed to be around here. Mm, so I'm gonna add the cylinder in, scale that down. So it is supposed to be right around here. Obviously, we need to make it smaller. Yeah, I think it will be. Good to put this one under a bull so we can see it a little bit better, yes. So we want something like that. Yeah. Then I will change the segments of that cylinder. Since we have four polygons around it, I need to set this to eight. And maybe we could rotate this so that these edges will match. Okay, then the rest is quite easy. Let's set this to one. Let's enable single object and make it editable. Now I'm gonna clean up the mesh. I forgot to do one thing and it is adding that in set. Then make it editable. Hold down control, then connect these edges to remove these empty points. Hold down control. Okay, by doing so, we train the shape as much as possible. Now I'm gonna move some of these points out to reduce the stress. Okay. Let's add a loop cut. If you see something like that, it means that there is something on the way. Probably some duplicating points. Yeah, something is off here. I will just delete them. Right, so let's get rid of these. Okay, add this one in. Let's scale this in. Move them up. Some sporting edges. Let's hit Q. And here we go. But what about mirroring these? I will use Symmetry Tube. Symmetry Generator. Hold down out. Add this one in. I will enable all of them. And then I'm going to enable Remove Outside. Here we go. Let's enable Welds. Some of these points are overlapping which means that 
I failed to position these right in the middle. So I'm going to select them. Since these are facing Z, I should look for the Z position and Z size. Zero these out. Same here. X is time. Zero out that one. Now I should get a good result. Yeah, now let's make it editable. And our mesh is ready. Okay, we are looking really good. I am really happy with the result. Now I'm going to finish this off by adding the last detail, which is these grids. It's going to be quite easy, actually. All I need is a cube. Scale that down. Then I'm going to open out with a cloner. I want to mirror this. I, sorry, I need to clone this on the X, so I should first set this to linear and yeah, we need to. I'm going to do that. I guess we have 8 or 10, so let's set this to 8. Then I'm going to try to fit this in. I'm going to scale this down. Okay. I need to change the scale of that cube to something like that. Okay, let's make the cloner editable. Oh, sorry, I should f first put this one under a connect so that it, it, it'll, it will give me a single mesh. Then I will go to the front view. Line cut tool, turn off visible only, and add these cuts parallel to the shape. Hit A to exit the tool, and I will do the same here. Okay, now let's select these and delete them. I'm gonna solo it, then use close polygon hole tool to close these holes. Nice. Uh, now we are going to need supporting edges, obviously, but instead of adding this one by one, why don't we add a bevel deformer? And let's set this to solid. So these are going to act like supporting edges. We could increase up the threshold to bevel that edge as well. So, sorry, we need to bring that down. Okay. Now let's group them. Alt and G, turn off solo mods, NA, yeah, looking sharp. So we need to mirror this on the Y. So why don't we put this one first? I will apply that deformer, then symmetry. We want to use the Y, remove outside, and here we go. Let's make it editable. Sorry, I should enable belt, make it editable. Here we go. I don't think we need these polygons. Okay, what about cloning these around? Well, first we need to change its axis. It is uh, a little off, so I'm gonna enable axis mode and set this to zero. Now I could use symmetry, radial. Yeah, something like that. Also, I want to show you one last thing. If you are getting two sharp edges, you could use smoothing deformer. I'll turn shift at this one in. So, <laughs> yeah, the shape is looking cool actually, but we don't need that much. So, I will bring that down to something like one or two. It's up to you. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something new. I know. This is a really fast tutorial, but the point is to show you as much as possible. So that's going to be it for this one. Let's check out the wireframes for the last time. Yes, this is looking really cool. Okay, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next ones. Bye.